Let's talk low back and hip pain both during pregnancy and postpartum. You can go ahead and Google it right now and you'll see the top seven stretches, the top five exercises, the six favorite yoga poses for hip pain, for back pain, for anything related to pain, both during and after pregnancy. Now it's a ton of information to come through and we need to be able to sort through it, but I think we need to change the conversation slightly and look more at capacity and less at pain with a few caveats. One, pain during pregnancy and postpartum, especially in the hip and the low back, is a common theme, but we don't generally have to normalize it. And two, you should always know that if you are having pain that is decreasing your quality of life or impacting your daily activities, to go seek help, whether that's from a physical therapist or other medical professionals or a pelvic floor physical therapist, you should go see them. So now let's talk about capacity versus pain. The demands of a mom are a lot, both during pregnancy and postpartum. But we generally think we can break it up into three different ways and the capacity that you have to do that throughout the day. So number one is simply carrying things, right? So we love to use kettlebells here at Recharge and we think they're a great representation. Moms have to carry stuff all the time, whether it's a baby carrier, groceries, their work bag, anything they need, they have to be able to carry. A farmer's carry is a traditional strength in exercises that can be a great way to look at what is your capacity to do so? If you can do a farmer's carry with a significant weight for long periods of time, then we should be able to have a higher capacity to carry things throughout our day. Now, the second one is a squat. Right? How many times do moms get up and off the ground, but let alone just get up and off from a seated position? So what we can do is look at simply the squat pattern, again, with just a little bit of weight, such as a kettlebell, to see what your capacity is to both do higher volume squats and to control your body throughout that motion. And it can even be just a simple sit to stand of squatting down here and coming back up or anything along those lines. Last is something as simple as a deadlift. So moms also have to pick things up on a daily basis. And an easy way to work through this is to look at a deadlift and what your capacity is to do that with and without pain. So if I can simply do a hip hinge deadlift and pick a weight up both from my heights or perhaps from a floor, with some quality technique, those are three different movements we can look at to look not so much at the pain that you might be having, but the overall capacity for you to do work. Now, if we can improve your capacity through strengthening exercises, then perhaps we can help you get through the day and meet the demands of a mom slightly better. So yes, we still wanna consider the pain that's going on, and maybe there's certain movements that we can do or certain techniques within the movements of these strength and exercises that actually makes it more pain-free or less painful perhaps or more comfortable. But overall, the general idea of increasing your ability to handle the demands of your daily life as a mom is the conversation we need to start having. Not the seven greatest exercises, not the eight greatest stretches. It's can you meet the demands of yourself as a mom on a daily basis? If not, what can we do to help you get there? And hopefully in turn, that pain that we often see is very common can one, be less frightening, and two, become less and less over time, the more strength you feel in both your body and with your demands of a mom. So if you like that message of the idea of capacity versus pain, then come to our women's health event here at Recharge on 10 10 10. That's Wednesday, October 10th at 10 a.m. with myself, Dr. Ryan Smith, and our guest speaker, Dr. Jamie DeLuca of Towson University. We're gonna talk all about physical activity, prenatal and postpartum for women all about the myths, about the other ways that we can change the conversation and want to be optimistic about it and talk about the benefits of physical activity before and during. We hope to change the conversation just like we did in this episode to help moms get on and meet the demands of their daily life. So again, that's Wednesday, October 10th at 10 a.m. here at Recharge. Sign up on the Facebook RSVP or catch us on other social media accounts.